Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem going to be about population genetics and here is the problem 10% of the males of an infinitely large randomly mating mouse population are colorblind due to uh, sex link recessive allele a representative group of 1000 from this population migrates to an island where there are already 1000 inhabitants uh, also a randomly mating population and where 40% of males are colorblind, the same allele. Assuming that Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium uh, applies to both populations and to the mixed population formed after the migration, answer the following questions. And question A. What fraction of males can be expected to be colorblind in the generations after the arrival of immigrants? So... Uh, let me clean space a little bit. Uh, if you approach this problem as a genetic problem, you probably would be confused. But basically we can solve this problem uh, just like in chemistry. Imagine that uh, we have one test tube and here we have 1000 milliliters somewhere here. And uh, we have 10% of some uh, substance here. And if we centrifuge, we can separate that uh, 10%. And now 10% would be here. So that gives us 10% uh, of some substance of our interest and 90% would be say um, some solvent or water and in other words this would be 900 and this would be uh, 100 milliliters now we have another test tube and in this test tube we also have the same substance uh, also, this is going to be 1000 milliliters, but this time when we centrifuge this uh, solution, we would find that 40% would be substance of our interest, so 40% and 60%. And now we mix, uh, or in other words, uh, 400 milliliters and 600 milliliters here. Now we mix uh, these two test tubes in the third one and this have to be a bigger test tube. It have to be as big uh, that uh, it would contain uh, 1000 milliliters from this test tube, 1000 milliliters from this uh, test tube. So we would have um, 2000 milliliters here and how much we are going to have of the substance of our interest so this is going to be 400 milliliters so 400 milliliters not 40 percent but 400 milliliters so 400 milliliters from this test tube and as you remember, 100 milliliters from another test tube. So plus another 100. So together, substance of our interest would make 500 milliliters. And total volume here is 1000 milliliters. Total volume here is 1000 milliliters. So the total volume of this test tube would be 2000 milliliters 2000 and substance of our interest as you see would make 500 so this gives us concentration of the substance of our interest as uh, 500 out of 2000 and we can divide 500 by 2000 
and as you see the answer would be 0 0.25 or in other words 25% would be frequency of the defective X chromosomes so if um, in one population we had 10% if here we had 40% it doesn't uh, give us 50% in new population if we would take absolute numbers 100 plus 400 we are going to get 500 here but if you would add percentages 10 plus 40 would give us 50% but as you see actually we got 25% uh, and 25% here represent uh, affected male uh, progeny in this new population that is going to have this um, genetic disease color blindness this is once again X-linked recessive genetic disorder because males uh, may have only two genotypes males uh, may have with a defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome or males may have normal X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. This gives us a probability that male would have defective X chromosome as uh, 0.25 and probability of having normal chromosome as 0.75 because this is frequency, this is occurrence of these alleles in this population. Once again, as for the males, uh, as you see, 25% of the males would be affected and 75% of the males would be unaffected. And as for the females, females may have following genotypes. Females may have two normal X chromosomes, Hom can be homozygous dominant, also females may be heterozygous having one normal X chromosome and one defective X chromosome and may have two defective X chromosomes and what is the probability of each genotype it is easy because occurrence of the normal X chromosome in this uh, gene pool in this population new population would be 0. 75% uh, probability that two X chromosomes would be normal would be 0 0.75 for each chromosome. In other words, we have to multiply 0 0.75 by 0 0.75. This is for uh, homozygous normal genotype as for the heterozygous genotype uh, we would have probability as 0.75 that the first chromosome would be normal and 0.25% uh, sorry 0.25 or 25% uh, probability of the uh, heterozygous genotype so we have to multiply 0 0.75 here by 0.25% but nevertheless as you see these two genotypes would make one normal phenotype because if this is uh, X-linked recessive genetic disorder then this uh, genotype we call carrier because female wouldn't be affected. So these two genotypes would make normal phenotype. But some of the females also can be affected with this genetic disorder, especially when um, frequency of the defective allele is higher, 25%. So probability that female would be colorblind would be as follows, 0.25% that she would get defective X chromosome from the mother side. 0.25 would be probability to get a defective X chromosome from the 
further side so we have to multiply 0 0.25 by 0 0.25 so the answer would be 0 0.0625 and if we need an answer in percentage form we have to multiply this number by 100 so this is going to be 6.25% and this is going to be um, those females with affected uh, phenotype so females represented here by these two genotypes would make another uh, 90, 93 point 75 percent once again uh, this is for female side so this is going to be female side here from here and to the right uh, I didn't calculate exact numbers for heterozygous genotype and homozygous normal you can multiply these numbers but uh, both this uh, genotypes would make a normal phenotype which would account for 93.75 percent once again of the female progeny and 93.75 percent once again of the female progeny would be unaffected 6.25 percent would be affected and as for the male progeny 25 percent of the male progeny would be phenotypically affected and 75% of the male progeny would be phenotypically normal. As you see, males doesn't have another X chromosome, instead uh, just small Y chromosome. Uh, y chromosome is one of the smallest chromosomes and X chromosomes is one of the biggest uh, chromosomes. So Y chromosome about 10 times smaller than uh, X chromosome. So if frequency of this defective allele in the gene pool is 25%, then 25% of the male progeny would be affected. And that means that 75% uh, in this gene pool probability for male to have normal X chromosome, so 75% of the male progeny going to be phenotypically normal. I hope my example using test tubes instead of uh, clouds that would represent different gene pools is more visual and I hope you would be able now easily solve analogous problems if you would have on your exam. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.